Today is a day in the life, but slightly different day in the life because we've got a day off. So I thought I would show you what we get up to in our day off, have a little like update about how I'm getting on. If I was gonna give you a regular day in the life, guys, it would be, how do I put this? Boring. I mean, it would be like a study video. You know when sometimes you just literally watch someone studying for two hours? We can make that a 10 hour video. Follow a long work workout. <laughs> At this point, you have to really think so Mario's gonna have his fifth coffee of the day. Uh -huh. Sixth, sorry. So it's 9 a.m. We've both had breakfast. We had breakfast actually during a conference call with our lawyers. We tried to front load our work and now we can have a party. Now we party, baby. Also, just a little update on Mario's hair since I shaved it all off. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking a little bit different. I think he's getting a lot more used to it and a lot more confident. I want to be your president. It's time to have a president who parties. So I want to do a workout this morning. I haven't worked out in the last like two days just because it's been really, really busy. So I just want to do some kind of workout. I'm going to do a home reload session just because then I know it's going to be a great session, but I don't have to do any of the mental thinking of like coming up with exercises and sets, etc. It's just really easy to follow. So I'm going to do that and then I'll feel good for the rest of the day. I'll feel like loose and mobile and just ready to continue. I'm just making sure that everything is done perfectly at the moment when I'm working out because two days ago I was moving the plants and something in my back just was like nah I have a little bit of history my ankle my lower back you know usually I'm very good and I don't really have any kind of injuries but those are the two that sometimes will creep up on me All right, so that was the warm-up to the pre-warm-up to the actual workout, which is me squatting Mario 300 times. That's one set. Home Reload does come with a Mario. Do you think you could squat me? Oh yeah, definitely. If you're 85 kilos, 100% I can squat you. Now, if you're above 100 kilos... Then I can squat you then I can even squat faster. You. <laughs> what I'm going to do is hack squat you. Easy as that. Easy as that. Look at that. Mario, think of any move. I bet I can come up with a solution. Um, Using a Mario. Bicep curl. <laughs> come on. This is my car. Next. Um, rear delt row. Rear delt row. With a partner. With partner, yes, of course. With partner. <laughs> <laughs> is somebody else. If you don't have somebody else, find someone. <laughs> Bring them into your house and lift them. Leg press. Let's get in there. Single leg, leg press. Bench press. Yes, lad. No, no, no. I'm bulking. Bulking season. Sled pull. Sled push. You can even do Olympic events. 100 points. <laughs> Jokes aside, the only one that really works is the hip thrusts. <laughs> okay, so that's my workout, it's done. So I'm now about to take you through my current DIY project. We've got all of this to do. So I know in the home tour I showed you that I did the kitchen and now we're going to transform the second bedroom. And the thing is I know some people are like, nah, leave it blue, it kind of adds a pop of colour and I totally get that. But I'm a moth, so I love the light and also I'm one of those people who gets a real kick out of satisfaction videos. It's just so therapeutic, you just peel the plastic back, you smooth it down, no bubbles, you carefully wrap it round it. It's just 
What a treat. This is what I mean, just satisfaction all round. Has my channel really become ASMR? It can be a little bit fiddly, but I, I kind of like it, you know, like I like a challenge. Done. So we're making lunch now. We're gonna have some fish skewers with like a couscous salad, lots of different veg salad. It was Mario's idea. He wanted something fresh. Once we finish doing lunch, we're gonna do some baking. That's my lunch. Um, because we were kind of rushed for breakfast, we didn't kind of enjoy it or take our time. I just wanted to take my time for lunch and just enjoy it. No conference call involved. That's how you know the food's good. I give it two Just a little buttons. bit. <laughs> I've got a zip, so I've given it a button and two inches down. Yeah, there's more as well. <sighs> yes. We can get the whole zip down eventually. <laughs> How good? I think, my friends, it's time for some baking. And just before we start though, I just need to check that the ingredients are all right. In a bowl. Basically, we used to have this dessert at one of the restaurants that me and Mario went to as a date, like many times. I will always take people to that restaurant as well because everyone loves it at Oka. I love it, I love, I love, I love it there, so. hard to see whether you've got the right amount. <laughs> That's quite a lot of sugar. How many does this make? One. It's one, just one serving. serving. <laughs> one cookie. Feels like a potion. <laughs> Beat in vanilla extract egg yolk until light and creamy. I mean, how is that? Void of black, going to be light and creamy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this is where I wish I had an electric mixer. 300 volts. <laughs> is that light and creamy? Did you get some on you? How would you describe it in two words? Light. Yeah. Second word, creamy. A day off with Natasha Sian. I know you guys will do this. So the batch is way too big, so I'm gonna freeze half of the mixture and then use it for another day, you know? Wow. Second batch is always the best. For me, a perfect cookie. Crispy on the outside, squishy on the inside. I've had so much mix that I don't know if I can finish this one cookie. Is it really sweet? I mean, it's not savory, let's put it that way. Mm. Did I just eat a whole one? Or is it still in the milk? No, it's not. Mm. Out of 10. Eight, seven and a half. Are you gonna go any lower? I'd say just under an eight. Like, I don't wanna be unfair to eight. <laughs> Hey cutie. Hello. Do you want a little cookie? Um, please, can I have a cookie? Here you go. Um, for me, can I have it? Wait, show me your teeth. Fully developed baby teeth? They're milk teeth. Why do you look so cute? Because I was born cute. Did you look like that as a baby? <laughs> no, I looked cuter. All right, Grandma, show us a pistol squat. In my day, 
We used to do 200 pistol squats as a warm up. Go on then, show us. Well, I can only do a couple now. Go on. I'll do one more for your love. Yeah. Because she's still got it, darlings. She's still got it. I'd, I never come back and talk about my experience of the video once I start editing, but I'm just looking through some of the footage. I thought everything was fine and that we were mentally doing all right during quarantine, but I just feel like we've gone a bit mental. So, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. I just kind of wanted to have a little chat so I feel like it's been a while. I wanted to upload a day in the life kind of when lockdown started but then everything just happened so quickly and then I was just like you know what I just want to create loads of workout content and um, just didn't really happen. Also I need to have both hands available. Someone commented being like can you stop using your hands so much. If I don't use my hands I can't talk. I need my hands to communicate. I guess the reason I haven't really filmed like a regular day in the life is because honestly, like at the moment, it's just very samey. Wake up early, start work at 8.30, go through till nine, watch TV, eat some dinner, and go straight to sleep. Then like every other day, we will have an hour or two to just kind of go outside, dance, do a workout, just take a little bit of care for, take a little, take a bit of care, take a little bit of, Wait, what is the word? Just take care of ourselves a little bit. Syntax. Yeah, we just take care of ourselves. This is going so well. Stay? You gonna stay? Yeah, we're just trying to take care of ourselves a little bit like every other day. Right now, it's just one of those temporary, like really busy phases. We're trying to get investment. We're really busy because with our tech startup, we're still a very small team, which means that everyone is doing everything and it just feels really hectic. So that's kind of why I wanted to film this kind of day off. I think one thing that genuinely really helps during this lockdown is wearing regular clothes. Because at home like it's so tempting to want to wear loungewear but I only save it for when I'm lounging and watching TV at night because if I wear it during the day, I just become really lethargic. I just don't feel that productive and I honestly think it was my mum that forced that into me because when we were younger, me and my brother, we used to watch our cartoons in the morning and then she'd be like, right, 10 a.m., TV off, put your normal clothes on, take your pajamas off. And at the time it was like, this is so annoying. I think these are the lessons that your parents teach you that come back to you when you're an adult. Now I literally thank her for it so much. To be productive, I need to not be too comfortable. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't, maybe it's just me. So we're going for a little bit of a sunset stroll. Every other day we'll go for a sunset stroll and I will also bring a toy of my choosing. I get one toy <laughs> per stroll. Sometimes we'll grab the frisbee. Yeah, and you're gonna get the uh, rollerblades. And I'm gonna get some rollerblades as well. So I like making the most out of the sunset colors as well. There's just something about it every time. I just feel small and insignificant in a good way. <laughs> Do you want me to push you? No. Just a baby push. No, I don't take help from nobody. <laughs> you actually don't. I actually don't. <laughs> so in the UK, we're allowed to go for one walk a day. So we use it at sunset where we just explore the area because we didn't get to do it before everything was on lockdown. So now we're just like walking around, just getting to know the neighborhood, you know? Just in time for the sunset. Oh, I looked at it for too long. <laughs> <laughs> yep, oh my god. I want to see some nice three quarter length jeans on you. There he goes. Tony Hawk, call me Tony. Uh, use your ankles. Yeah, use the hips, move the hips. Shakira. All Make right. it look easy. Yep, yep. Push. I'm pushing, Push I'm dragging. Loosen up around the hip area. Come on, Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Keep it loose. Keep it. Move the ankles. That's, that's it. Keep going. Wow. Baby, when you talk like that. Be more loose. Be more loose. Oh my God. You are Shakira. Shakira. 
So I'm just doing a little bit of stretching whilst I'm watching Middle Diction Schwartz. Literally, I love these guys. But anyways, I'm doing a little bit of stretching because I'm still working on those box splits, but I've started reworking on it. So maybe like a week ago. And yeah, I mean, you guys can see the progress there. Not much progress, but now I'm working on it. I feel like I just keep saying that and then nothing ever happens, but now it's gonna happen. So this is my dinner. This was supposed to be done with tofu. Usually I wouldn't have two seafood meals a day, but um, we didn't have tofu and then all the shops were closed. So seafood it is. Um, but yeah, and then after that, I'm really excited because we're gonna watch Forrest Gump. I usually try and watch Forrest Gump maybe like once every two years just to kind of like refresh my memory on the film and because I love it so much. I need some tissues because I know I'm going to cry. But yeah, that was our day in the life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just feel like I had a great day and I just hope you guys enjoyed the video. So if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and I'll see you guys very soon. Love ya. Bye. I told you I'd cry. We're 10 minutes into this film. And Mario's having a tea break. And I'm crying already. <laughs> oh my god, Forrest Gump is so good. Okay, right. Ready? We haven't got to any of the sad parts yet. <laughs>